Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Cancer friends and friends of Cancer. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So this is your reading for 2024. You guys, Happy New Year. You made it. We all made it. So I do pull a couple cards here before recording Oracle cards, and then uh, go through what I saw for you in meditation. Then we get into the tarot. All right, just heads up. Go ahead and dive right on in here. So Cancer, what I saw for you guys tapping into your energy for 2024 at first was, um, so I knit, um, <clears throat> what I saw were two open ends of knitting that were being uh, knit together. So there's a technique that you can knit two open ends together so there's not a seam. Um, that's what I saw coming together. There was a thread that was going through that was bringing these two open ends together into one unit. So what that told me or the message to me was, well, I think it's pretty obvious, lacing something together. It could be partnership. Uh, that's mostly what comes through for me, something in the realm of two individuals, two ideas or two personalities coming together. Uh, the next thing that I saw was the color red and immediately red makes me think of passion. So there was a connection to the connective activity of the knitting two ends together. Red is also the color of the root chakra. So there is a message or a note of grounding that's coming in as well. And then the next component that came through was a ball. So a ball makes me think of being a kid, having fun. Uh, bounce back as well, something that's kind of bouncy. So that's the message that's coming through for me is maybe needing to um, connect with your inner child, maybe somebody that you knew in childhood, <clears throat> used to play with an old friend, that kind of thing, but being flexible and bouncing back. So the first Oracle card that you guys got here, the Blue Angel Oracle, uh, Wings of Light. And I love the art on this. This picture especially is just gorgeous. So Wings of Light here is positive news, you guys. <laughs> positive news. Um, love that already. I'm really excited to do this reading for you guys because of the Oracle cards that came through. So positive news talks about a positive result or a joyful message that brightens your day. In this instance, being that it is your yearly reading, I feel like this is something that will brighten your year. Okay, We do have Pluto going into Aquarius next year. At the end of the year, it'll make a transit earlier in the year and then go in for 20 years, which is going to bring about some major, major change. Last time that happened was starting in 1777, 777, and the uh, French and American revolutions happened. So uh, just, you know, normal everyday kind of stuff. <laughs> we'll see. But I feel like this is great, you guys, for this kind of transformation coming into your life. <clears throat> um, the card asks you to pause and reflect when you do hear this news and uh, reconnect with those that you love and to start considering what it is that you do feel is a blessing from the micro to the macro. 333, I also saw my timer there. To just take that moment and appreciate and have gratitude for that. Um, the next card, so love that already, you guys. Love, love, love. <clears throat> the next card you guys got in the Animal Spirit Oracle deck is the Lamb. And lamb here is earth energy. So it's peaceful, prophetic, and patient. <laughs> the lamb is also the bearer of an important message. <laughs> so you guys, there's something coming in. Um, I, would, I would typically say like, listen to your intuition. The lamb actually talks about a message coming from outside of you. This is the lamb message typically comes from like an old friend. And that's kind of when I pulled this after having the red ball, um, red or the ball, excuse me, not red ball, having the ball come through could be a message from an old friend. It could be a message from a young child, or it could be the stranger in the supermarket line. They don't say supermarket specifically, but that's, that's what I'm getting from that. It could be anybody outside of yourself, but it's usually, one of those kinds of connections that the lamb energy comes through so an important message that's coming through to you guys you're being asked to meditate and listen to be quiet to be still so that you can hear this message it's saying that truth is a gift and the lamb also <laughs> says that the message will continue to repeat until you hear it 
So this is something I don't encourage you to like, you know, I encourage you to slow down is what I'm saying. This message will continue to come through, but based on, so I was called to pull two animal cards for you based on the second animal card here. I feel like you guys want to listen. Okay. The message may come through later as a, you missed it. <laughs> And I don't want that if this has to do with you. So the second animal energy you guys got is fox, which is also earth. So fox is smart, cunning. They are representing a strong partner or mate or wise teacher. And um, they're also skillful in business. They represent in the positive form, like monogamous, intelligent, clever energy in the negative form or off balance they are uh, questioning their identity they may be sneaky that sort of thing to bring that into balance they recommend partnership and connection so um in the book it says that uh it represents an ideal life partner so i feel like if that's the message that's coming through for some of you here Pay attention. I don't want you to miss this life partner because the, the point that comes through with the fox too says foxes don't do well when they slip away. So I very much get this idea of like, well, I don't think it's going to sit, sit around and wait for you forever. And this isn't for everybody as far as the partner goes. But um, for those of you that that does apply to, I feel like there's a message coming through outside of partnership for sure. Uh, but for some of you that are looking for that energy, it's coming in next year, so quiet down and listen, meditate, connect to the divine is what I'm getting from the meditation comp component. Because when you connect to the divine, you're brought to that other person who's already connected to the divine. Positive news, you guys. There's really good news coming in. So let's see. All right, let's get to the tarot. <clears throat> tarot here. Spirit, what do we have for cancer for 2024? And this is my uh, deviant moon tarot deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. You guys, thank you so much for your love and support. I love you and thank you for letting me support you in this way. I did hit 5,000 subscribers here on Christmas Day. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for your love and support. I will be getting another video out here shortly to um, get the rules and prize together for the contest that I promised. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, if this message is resonating with you, please consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I, <clears throat> it is, um, excuse me, it is the best way to support me and the growth of this channel here. And I truly, truly appreciate that, you guys. That is my goal. I also have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description. If you feel drawn or called to donate or tip, I will absolutely accept that. It is not mandatory, but I will accept it with mass amounts of gratitude. Those that have, thank you guys truly so, so much. I also take personal readings. If you feel called to look at that, my link for my website is a pinned comment. All right, so Six of Swords. You guys are hoping to transition from something dumb <laughs> to something good. You guys are hoping. I feel like um, you've been asking for help, whether consciously or subconsciously, just like putting out this, um, this vibe this alert help me <laughs> but ultimately you guys are hoping for this transition from something that has sucked and based on past readings this last year there's definitely been heartbreak there's been three of swords there's been tower like end of jobs end of relationships so i am with you there i am a cancer venus also so i feel you okay the moon comes through here that is also one of your cards so um well, it's water. It's more, I guess it's more Pisces, but you guys in power is what comes through. Um, this is a general message as well, everybody. This is my This May Hurt Tarot, BT Dubs. This is a general message. So if it does resonate with you, please let it resonate. If it doesn't, that's totally fine. No need to make something fit. Um, it is normal for components to apply and others to not. If this is, uh, or it can also be flopped energy is what I'm trying to say. It can be applying to somebody else as a major person in your life, a partner. There are cross watchers here too. Please use your intuition on whether or not this fits for you guys. Okay. I do my best <laughs> to, to share what comes through, but I can't read for everybody's minutia in their life. Okay. <laughs> if this doesn't apply or resonate, please consider checking out your rising moon or Venus. Okay.
All right, Knight of Swords. So I feel like some of you, all of you, most of you are afraid or nervous about putting some thought into play, into action here. Or moving towards your goals. Maybe you're not really sure what your goals are. Maybe that's why there's this tentative attitude or nature to it. But there's a there's a fear aversion towards putting energy into action. Okay, let's look at that. I am going to do a Celtic cross here for the month, so it's going to be a few more cards. But <clears throat> we'll bang it out. We'll bang it out. Bang it out. Four of Wands is your general to start here. So four of wands is crossing a milestone or threshold, doing something important, an achievement in your life of some sort. It can be a marriage as well. Having the fox come through with an ideal partner, positive nudes. Some of you may be in a relationship. I don't know. Could be a proposal. Ooh, send me an invite. <laughs> I love that. Love, love. So uh, wonderful. Yeah. Maybe you guys, some of you may be getting a proposal. Some of you may be starting a union, like I said, but for a lot of you, I feel like this is crossing a threshold, something that is a level that you haven't been able to cross up until now. Coming back from wherever it was that there was a fall or a slip up or trip or damage, <laughs> this is crossed by the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is expansion. So uh, love this energy to start. Okay. You guys are making uh positive waves you're having improvement in your life doing things that you haven't done before in an expansive way there is a note to the knight of pentacles also that talks about a need to move to be pragmatic about your work but they're the only knight that doesn't have motion attached to them so being um this is a very fast moving this is the fast knight. the knight of pentacles is the slowest so you, it's like you guys are afraid of speed but you are being encouraged to at least move a little bit or maybe pick it up a little bit is kind of what's coming through there. Whatever message is coming through this year for you guys, do not delay. Do not dilly, neither dally, okay? <laughs> Just make sure that you are listening and, um, and acting. So the High Priestess is what crosses the Four of Wands here. High Priestess is pre-Empress energy. So interestingly enough, actually with the marriage component, those of you that may, may be getting a proposal, that's what's coming through here. The high priestess marries the magician and they become the empress and the emperor. So yeah, maybe there's a proposal coming through here. For others of you though, intuition comes through and this is actually one of your cards, Cancer. So actually, yeah, being highlighted. It is the water signs, but you're kind of the main one that comes through on high priestess. So you're in a position of power this year. Things, things is happening for Cancer. Strength is what crosses the Knight of Pentacles. So what I feel like is coming through on this is that encouragement to be encouraged, to have courage, take courage, to move forward with courage. You are moving in a positive direction. You're moving in the right direction. Okay. This is also overcoming, um, like taming the beast within with patience and love. I feel like that beast is left over from wanting justice from the past. That was something that's come through readings before. Um, yeah, let's move forward here. I'm going to draw the cards and then we'll start to clarify and go through. And eventually I'll get a camera here. I did just start a couple months ago, a few months ago. So <laughs> thank you for your patience. All right. So this is um, what's known, what you know, what you may be aware of here. This is Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is a new idea. It's logic, critical thinking, dealing with difficult thoughts, cutting through the bullshit comes through. So being something that you know about, I feel like you have been cutting through the bullshit. I feel like you have been working through this energy of needing to release whatever happened in the past that hurt. For those of you this applies to, that's what that's what's coming through on that. Needing to come up with new ideas, whether that's for relationship, career, whatever it is that you're moving through, there was a need to create something new. King of Wands, clarifying the uh, Ace of Swords here. So King of Wands is a leader, entrepreneurial spirit. They are a visionary. 
They're a vision, <laughs> a vision of entrepreneurial leadership. Okay. Um, they're very creative as well. They're somebody who, who leads with passion. So I feel with, maybe this is the tricky idea for some of you is you understand that you need to be this leader. You need to take your life into your own hands again. You need to lead yourself to water and make yourself drink. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Any other information on what is known for cancer, deception, false illusions, scarcity, mentality, and falling into bad habits. What comes to mind with this is attached more to the ace of swords. So the uh, difficult thinking, difficult processes of thought, it can certainly become a spiral. Like your anxiety, anxiety is what kind of comes through here. Maybe, you know, you have anxiety. <laughs> over needing to, to lead yourself. Like there's a change that needs to happen in your life and nobody else can make that for you and it's freaking you the F out. Which would make sense how being a fear, being a feared, <laughs> being afraid of the Knight of Swords movement, okay? Don't be scared, Cancer, you can do this. You're more than capable, more than capable. So this is what sensed um, <laughs> Six of Wands. This is success, you guys. Celebration. It's succeeding, winning the war and coming home and being celebrated for your efforts. So I feel like you guys can feel deep down in your bones, in your, in your crabby bones, that there is success waiting for you. And people, they're wanting to celebrate that with you as well. I just, I feel like there's this anxiety with that deception, false illusions, scarcity mentality. The bad habit is maybe like listening to your anxiety, not pushing through that. There are good things that are coming through here. Positive news, you guys. <laughs> the lamb is on its way. It's on the lamb. <laughs> the hanged man is what clarifies the six of wands here. So hanged man is a change of perspective. It's also surrender. So what I'm getting from this is, this is what you sense, okay? It will be illuminated, like the truth will come out. The truth is a gift, which was coming through on the lamb. <clears throat> um, needing to surrender to the flow, to the message that you're receiving here. Maybe you can sense that there is success in that surrender, but there's fear. I understand. I understand. Um, any other information here for cancer on what is sensed it's in the unknown here? A new opportunity, insights gained from a new experienced job or partner. Yeah, you guys can feel that. You feel that, Cancer? I, I, I feel like you can. Uh, particularly, I mean, that's talked a lot, talked about a lot, excuse me, like with the Fox. But this especially, positive news coming in. And all that white, I feel like this is, this is a new chance. Like, this is your chance to start a purified chance, okay? A clarified opportunity. So this is what came before. What led you here? This is Page of Cups. And Page of Cups is like a new thought as well. Needing to ground this thought into reality, though, it can also be um, like the component I'm getting mostly from this is being overwhelmed with the emotions surrounding something new. It could be a relationship from the past, could be having to start over, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of like whatever it is that you had to leave behind. Feeling overwhelmed with those emotions. So the sun is what's clarifying this here. Um, the sun typically is a very positive, happy card. Happy memories, happy inner child here, inner child leading the way. Um, I kind of get more of like the burnt, like I... The sun can grow, you know, can grow our crops or it can burn us if we're sitting out there too long. So I kind of feel more of a burnt aspect from this. Like being, being a fish out of water here. Having to start something over again new where you felt like a fish out of water. Being burned. Being burned here. Any other information here for cancer on where they've been? Eight of Wands. So um, being too hasty comes through here too. 
maybe a relationship ended because of hastiness. It's also um, spent energy is what comes through here. Like being deflated, being burnt and deflated. Whatever has happened in the past has not been um, very kind to you guys, you know? So um, the energy that is coming, it's coming for you, that's next, is the Three of Cups. This is celebration. <laughs> Having fun with your friends, could be your old friends, comrades, but success, you guys, really happy times. The fool is what clarifies the three of cups, a new start, starting a new journey, a fresh start, so fresh and so clean. Um, the fool, the encouragement here is that you have everything that you need to, to start this journey, to go on this journey, having the, the pup there. The encouragement is that you are also never alone. You have what you need and you're being guided to. Got a lamb on the way with an important message, okay? Any other information on what's coming here? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> um, so three of cups comes out to clarify that, which tells me success, you guys. The tower. This is success over your tower, okay? Having the, the fool come through too. This is your chance to start over. Like I said, with the wings of light, this is your purified chance. This is your clarified chance to start over again. Going from black to white, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. You're, you've, you're being freed from the pain that was involved with the tower there. So seven of cups is what comes out as well to clarify that. Being spoiled for choice. I feel like you have many opportunities in front of you, whether that is career, love, uh, reconnecting with family. Like this is a, it's a new day, you guys. <laughs> it's a new life. It's a new day for you. Um, so six of cups here is the way that you feel about this. What's going on here. This is the inner child card too. So having that ball come through in meditation, making me think about the inner child. I feel like the sun coming through in what's happened before, like this burned your inner child too. Maybe you were you were feeling really safe, either in a relationship or at, at work, whatever was lost or transitioned, whatever this tower is talking about. Um, and so it rocked your inner child's world, right? Safety. This is bringing that back into balance, happy memories. So you guys are seeing this, like as this is unfolding, you're seeing or feeling your inner child coming back into a state of security. <laughs> the tower. Exactly what I was just saying. <laughs> I love that. love that when that happens. So just clarifying exactly what I was saying there as far as the tower goes. This rocked your, your inner child's world, the sun here. That's your inner child on the little, little dog there, having a blast and then getting burnt in the sun. So this is an opportunity for you to start having wonderful memories again after this tower moment. Great. Good, Cancer. Good. You deserve this. Any other information for cancer on how they feel? Past life connection, someone with heavy influence from a past life is with you. So um, for some of you in what's coming through is in a relationship standpoint, like if you were in a previous relationship, um, the fox is what I'm being drawn to here. Like the fox doesn't do well when it slips away. Um, if that's your situation, just pay attention to what's in front of you. Okay. Just as pragmatic advice anyway, get out of the past. Like there's nothing in the past for any of us, right? You guys want what's coming forward here. I promise. So just pay attention. Okay. Listen for the lamb. Listen to what the lamb has to say. Wait for this positive news. Cause it's going to be good. Judgment is what's next here as far as where this takes place or how others view it. What I see here is like a, a process of purification, like the wings, the wings of light that's coming through. This is looking inside of yourself and evaluating, do I want this here? Do I not want this here? This component of myself, is this how I want my life to be? Is this how I want myself to be? And you're being encouraged to pull yourself up out of this life of rot. So this is where it's taking place is inside of you. Inside can serve. The, uh, yeah, <laughs> the energy that clarifies this is the page of swords. Page of Swords is asking you to get curious, just like I was saying. You are being requested to go inside and get curious about whether or not something is working for you. Um, that can, well, that's also the component of the lamb that comes through. You're being asked to quiet, 
by a coyote, <laughs> Cancer, to be quiet, meditate, and listen. Quiet yourself and listen. This message is coming from outside, but I mean, the positive message could be coming from inside too. Listen, just listen, okay? Um, this is your hope, hope or fear, hope and or fear, is the two of swords. The two of swords talks about needing to make a decision or being at a crossroads. I feel like the fear here is that you are forever at a crossroads. Like, will my life ever move forward? Yes, it will. <laughs> Wait for the message, okay? Tell me when to go as it comes through. <laughs> you will not always be stuck at a crossroads. Four of swords. Again, highlighting that four of swords is, is taking a rest, licking your wounds after an injury. Um, I feel like you guys are afraid that you'll always be in this like stopped to start kind of situation. Any other information here for cancer on their fear? Self-awareness, tapping into your higher self, questioning routines and patterns. Um, I feel like <laughs> being in the fear section here too, I feel like that's, uh, maybe that's a part of the fear of the Knight of Swords, getting things together into action. Maybe you guys are afraid of really going inside and tapping in to your core. Don't be scared, Cancer. We got to get good at this in life. Like we got to, nobody else can do it for us. And it will absolutely serve us to get good at changing the parts of ourselves that need to be changed. Not for others. Judgment is about what we want for ourselves so that we can direct ourselves where we want to go. So where this is leading you guys is 10 of pentacles. <laughs> Your outcome. Yes. <laughs> Hell yes. 10 of pentacles is a shit ton of abundance in the material and spiritual realm. So not only are you guys evolving spiritually this year, but you're also improving your status, okay? Improving your coin, working on your legacy for some of you, moving your legacy forward. I feel like having knowledge passed down uh, could be from your family or those that you consider family. It could be a part of the positive news. You want a bunch of money. <laughs> Queen of Swords is what clarifies the Ten of Pentacles here. Queen of Swords is needing to, um, or pursuing honesty. I feel like this is honesty coming through to you. Truth, truth is a gift. That's what was coming through on, um, is it the Wings of Light or the Lamb? The Lamb. Truth is a gift, okay? That's what's coming through here. Part of your gift, like that's not all you're receiving is truth. The truth, though, shall set you, shall, the truth shall set you free. Eh. I mean, that's what's, that's what's happening here. But part of the truth that's coming through is allowing you to be abundant, to be free, to feel safe again. Success, you guys. It's time to shine. Success from what you pour your heart into. But you have to open up your heart here, too, in order to pour from it, right? You can't pour from a closed bottle. So, Cancer, I love you guys so much. Truly, truly, truly. Love doing your readings. Um, super excited for you this year. This looks like wonderful, wonderful growth. Okay. I will see you here soon for the weeklies. And please have a wonderful year. Happy New Year. Bye.